Those hundred thieves have set themselves back a little bit farther. Pico knows this is going down, but Mummy actually pops off and gets the kill. Remarkable stuff as he times that one perfectly. Crashes one kill for himself, too. Ethan traded out Nitro, last one for hundred thieves. Three players still up for Envy. Spike is down, so Nitro will have some work cut out for him. Two players from Envy, by the way. In U-Haul, target prioritization from Nitro is perfect. He finds Caboose and will immediately smoke it off and then try to teleport. He fakes it with them thinking that he's inside of the smoke. Long range takes out Crashies and he heads towards the spike, but Mummy is there. Goodbye. The struggle with this passive, calm, considered play from Envy. Paranoia going out into showers and is going to net a kill for Asuna as Ferrari peeks out there. Good job and the Boombox to follow that up. It'll net a second. Great aggressive play from well, we'll see what they can do. Let me get to take a little bit of damage there through the smoke. FNF creeping up on Heaven, and he's not going to be able to take out Steel. So, flawless round. 400 Thieves. They realize that there's only one playing A. And it's going to be 100 Thieves pushing out on Long, though, to try and take this fight. And, well, it'll work out. Paint nets the kill, and they'll run it back. Shut down. But FNS there with the re. Asuna aggression into Garden will net one more, though. And another paint canister coming out. It's going to be... A dis More damage to stop anybody from pressuring him inside a U-Haul. So double swing, doesn't matter. Asuna wins the fight. And another for him, too. He's only one away from collecting them all. On the flank is FNS. He takes down Hiko and then immediately is ready. But the spike will be defused by Ethan. So the round goes in favor of 100 Thieves, even if Asuna... Res, that's not ideal, obviously, for Envy. They're going to try and correct that with the Hunter's Fury. It works. You actually get the Sage instead, but still, lots of damage done. It's done to Asuna as well now, who gets flushed out of his position. He'll have to fight his way out, and so far he's good enough for oh. one, or is at least trying to do more than that. Does Steel know this? Is the right win a fight? No, it doesn't matter. Even if it rhymes, it sounds nice. But rounds. Now it's going to be a push out early on A for Envy in an early trade as well. But it looks like that was all that they wanted out of A as the spread mm. at the moment. He's being very good on the table. Steel tries to light him up, but he doesn't find anything. Through the wall, it's Victor Ethan 2. Great spray to shut down Caboose and Victor. And Crashies and Mummy to carry more of the weight. And a beautiful shot. He'll move with Ethan. Crashies is good enough for one. Ethan's position, the clutch. He gets four. Beautiful stuff. The slow round, but unchallenged goes Ethan. Up top, Caboose swings on him. Ethan falls off his position. Great shoot. And see, is it possible for us to make a rotation? Asuna looks one way. He's been so good with his shots today. Good enough to take out Victor before Mummy trades him back. Steel catches Crashies. And it's Mummy in a 1v3. Make it a 1v2. Immediately oh. steals down for the count. Beautiful play by Mummy out of the teleporter. He goes walking through A right now. And there you go. Flushing him out. Beautiful shot. The ult works. Turn it back, though. Flashes above the smoke. Oh. Catches both. No. But isn't able to net a kill. A missed opportunity from him. That allows 100 Thieves to back up as best as they can. Gunfire from Envy hitting their marks. They have an advantage as they bulldoze the site and get the spike down at the same time. Victor, while well, you're having trouble in elbow, he's a bit too stiff. 100 Thieves, they're not. Ethan and Asuna, two kills to put FNS and Caboose in a position where they are going to be outnumbered. Asuna now showstopper out, hunting for a kill. Waiting patiently, does he know where they are? Ethan reses steel, brings him back from the dead. Last position is spotted. Ethan is so good. <laughs> sure, Ethan didn't like that one. That was same day delivery for him. And he goes in another for Envy now. Asuna continuing his hot pull. Good enough in his 1v1s all day, and he will continue to do just that. They're going to need more out of him. No showstopper goes in, cleans up, but he gets downed by FNS as it's a mad scramble. And Keep getting away with it, Parker. Somebody's got to stop him. Oh, Steel will stop Victor in his tracks, and Caboose now hunting to get the refrag. He's in up on top of the ice wall. Ethan doing his best to slow down Caboose as much as possible. And Owl comes on over, accompanied by Austin, and now through the doorway of the teleporter, but he'll get stopped and slowed but for a moment, allowing the Sage to push on up. Ethan Showers, nope, not undetected. See, just over the toxic screen. It's not good enough in that situation. And Nitro picks up a nice double kill, leaving just Mummy in a one versus five. He's got some low opponents, but doesn't really seem likely. As Austin Us will reign for Envy as they are unpredictable, but Steel's on the spike. He gets it halfway. They can get back on it quickly if they'd like. Go waiting through the smoke. Crashies wins that fight, swings out. Nitro's in his line, but he can't do anything about it, at least not yet. He's got Mummy by his side. There he goes. Crashies to take out Steel, and Envy take the round.
of a small bit of utility and some adequate firepower. When I say adequate firepower, I say most of these teams are going to always be on this same footing. You might see a couple frenzies, you'll see some ghosts. Very rarely you'll see a classic here or there as they go to do battle. Ethan will now stop anybody from U-Haul heading towards the site. He'll hop on back up, or at least... Try, try? You almost, you almost <laughs> had it, Ethan. You almost had it. So close. But Maybe not doable. No, not at all. FNS is going to fill him full of more. It's Kabusu actually technically gets the kill. Nitro is down now as well. And once again, the struggles for 100 the year. FNS just watches the gate as he manages to spray through, gets the tag on the steel as well. They're going to know it where he is. He continues for it, oh. and he drops him. He pulls out the frenzy, and it's a beautiful play by the news is that 100 Thieves have been so proficient in this third round. But Steel misses. He's going to challenge FNS. He's got superior firepower, oh. but Mummy from the back, well, he's better than him. Ethan now rotating all on his own. He's by Link. Making their advance in that direction. Paranoia goes out, and that's played oh. poorly by Crash. He's, but he's still good enough to get the shot. Watching over towards Elbow, and a recon dart will light up two members, which allows Caboose to capitalize. Finding one, a second is just evading him for now. Eco's going to need to figure out exactly where he's going to want to shoot, as he's still just inside of Elbow. Timer ticking away. He's got work to be done. Find four kills, or get the spike down. That. Mm. Now you've got Crash, he's working alongside Victor, and well, busting the drops. 100 Thieves actually managed to hit the mark, so they pick up two. Brave stuff from them. I was just about to compliment how Envy is going for a double peek in really well-coordinated style, but it actually ends up working out against them, it ends up being a firing squad. Now, Envy are back against the wall because we've got rifles on the board for 100 Thieves and a res at insult to injury. It goes a grenade, but it just no. misses. That is a bad set of circumstances for Caboose. Austin just needs to wait it out. And there he goes. He'll oh. spray across with Hiko at his side. A thrifty round, and we are tied 8-8. Eight, eight. A double? Nitro completely evades that showstopper. It just goes a little bit over his shoulder. So here comes an ult of their own. As Hiko's going to do his best, possibly figuring out if somebody is over by U-Haul, maybe over by spawn. We don't entirely know. Neither does he. Crashies with a kill for Envy. They have the advantage at this particular moment. Standing ahead. There goes a recon bolt. Destroyed. As both teams are just playing this one very, very slowly. Nitro positioned so well, he's able to grab one and the second two into a 1v1 off in hand. Flicking Ooh. one over. No, he can't get it. Crash, he wins the fight. And he'll sit on the spot. You know, something that, uh, you know, we aren't really talking too much about is the lack of flashes on 100 Thieves. Spike down pretty easily. They're going to have to deal with the flank, though. That's all on Crashies. So running back from Victor, but he gets immediately dropped, and Nitro gets the follow-up onto him as well. 100 Thieves with commanding control as the spike is down. This is a good position for them to try and stop some of the bleeding, some of the momentum that they've lost out on here. Now Nitro from the back takes out FNS and Crashies goes down too oh. in the middle of it, and there's been almost nothing happening. There you go. Finally, the team's trying to figure out where they wanted to go. Nitro involved in the first casualty, but this time he's on the right side of it. This is going to be the second. It's Hiko to take down Caboose, but FNS in a good position. He'll lose his fight regardless. Neck and neck for this first win. Are they just getting our hopes up here? Because Haven was very close between the two teams. With how close Haven was, then they ended up being pretty flashes as well as a run it back, but doesn't find anything with it. And a rare miss from Mummy as well, but he repeaks and this engagement works out in his favor. Asuna is down and that is a crown jewel for Envy with how he's been playing so far on 100 Thieves. Look at the teleport, and it's a fake-out teleport, too. It's a long rotate back to A. We've still got players on the 100 Thieves lingering by A. That's been red now. Mummy tries to push through the Cosmic Divide, but it doesn't work out for him. And now, man advantage as well as positioning advantage for 100 Thieves. Look at this angle from Caboose. Oh. This is as cheesy and cheeky an angle as you're going to see. He gets one and then immediately gets out of there like a bandit. He'll continue with now Victor holding the cross, two lined up. This is for match point, Michael. Nitro. I also adore the fact that Envy did not fall for the fake by 100 Thieves. That teleport and the faking play from 100 Thieves has been consistently working for them. But not in that round, Parker. Not when it matters most. And it's going to be a res from Ethan. Paint shells to cover. 
The double operator play is interesting from Envy. We'll see if it works out for them. On the entry through Garden, though, 100 Thieves managed to get man advantage. And they're going to need a big round from Asuna right here. Showstopper is pulled out. Oh. Asuna is stopped, so he will just fire up an attempt. It doesn't hit anything. Caboose now waiting for the smoke to clear, watching over towards Hookah. Crashies, some arrows on out. Caboose works well. Finesse is there as well. Three for Caboose. Crashies is down. Steal in a 1v3. Operator in hand. Unfortunate. He sees a jiggle peek from Caboose. They're just trying to bait out the shots as best as he can. Paint shells go in. It won't do any damage as Steel just watches that one. And then a smoke ah. will stop him. 40 seconds left in a 1v3 for Steel. Ascent is next on the docket. And Steel pulls this one off. It's overtime, but he won't. Crashies has... And that is, gonna, is why Envy are now on match point. Well, the good news is that point. both teams are quite healthy when it comes to their ecosystem. Envy's actually in worse shape if you saw the tallies at the top. So there is some breathing room for 100 Thieves, but... The and then there goes the hot hands for him to get back to as much full health as he can. Hiko dueling with Caboose over by Catwalk, and he manages to walk away with that one as 100 Thieves are looking to try and capitalize off of the first set of pistol rounds. Great jump from Asuna on to Victor as he's going to play off of this ice wall. One middle piece has been cut away, allowing further entry from Envy, but Asuna doesn't want them to make it through. Down goes the flames, the hot hands, and everybody from 100 Thieves is the mechanics of the game, though. 100 Thieves usually a little bit better when it comes to being labeled by their opponents sometimes as a got a vandal in hand you might actually see the head here as a pre-fire goes in he does indeed won't be able to capitalize on more than one as hundred thieves continue their assault on this site victor and mummy will now need to retake as they find themselves in a rough spot asana on the run it back finds the astro but he gets out dueled by mummy that's fine though because you've got another opportunity to do some more damage Spike is down by the way so envy have the clock working against them Victor creeping up, waiting, watching, takes one onto Asuna, looks at around the corner, cannot connect onto Nitro, or at least not do enough damage. I mean, now needs to make a choice. Do I pre-fire? I do indeed. And he walks away with it. A big potential moment. He's running out of time, though. He knows that he's nearing the point of no return, and he'll go on a solo mission as he tries to bait it out, but the time works for... The aggression here from Envy as well, up through main, and it's gonna work out for Asuna, actually. Beautiful curveball! Will he get a third? Almost! And he's gonna actually! Look at that! Most of these matchups, Envy's gonna have to learn a thing or two for them. And, well, they might have to do a little bit more learning than that as they lose finesse, but Mummy, well, he refrags onto Ethan. And that's an important one. He'll get a second shot as well here for Hiko, and Nitro with good cover deep in sight. Mummy gets his third kill with the Operator. He doesn't really have a choice, as he can't get anyone from 100 Thieves to take a fight. Mid. It's a real mid component of this map. So, they lose a bit of their footing as Caboose is just raining Hellfire down upon them. Two big kills. This is what Envy needs. There's a lockdown in play that's coming in from Envy that'll try their best to hold off 100 Thieves. Oh. Austin is next in the line of fire. Victor wins that one, Spectre in hand, and immediately... Oh, Ryan gains some control on A, as the thought process from Envy is that the execute is towards B. The mummy sees the wrists and misses oh. the shot onto Steel. He'll make them pay for it. Nitro, in particular, will be the one who benefits the most. Crashies and Victor now in a 2v4. Ice Wall will stop Victor. He's quick enough to be able to shoot away at it. And then through the floor towards Hell, he'll get dragged down by Ethan, who's down below. Crashies will now need to retake. Is all a flawless round previously? Well, it comes close this time around. 100 Thieves up 6 1. Yeah. I sight, pardon me. Towards the site and then just peeling off right away. And very quickly. And oftentimes extremely quietly. Victor here, is he going to get baited out? He swings on. Oh over. my goodness! That's a three piece for him. And 100 Thieves have been stopped in their tracks. Ethan, Steel, and Nitro now, as Nitro is brought back from the dead, resurrected. We see an elbow peek around those arches and Mummy trying to do some damage. He can't do enough. Could there be some gas left in the tank here for 100 Thieves on this particular round? Well, Victor's still alive, and he's still got a curveball. So he's going to be in a good position to hold this push through a main. And that's where all of 100 Thieves are congregated right now. They're trying to deal with somebody by gen, but there's nobody there. Tree shut from Caboose. He doesn't want to deal with any flanks. He just wants the direct confrontation. And Caboose is waiting for it. In the smoke, thinking he's being clever. Not quite clever enough. And now we find ourselves in a 2v2. This looked terrible. 400 thieves. And yet, 
they have life after death. Trying to find intel for Crash Jesus. He's going to buy some time for FNS to pop up. Ethan drops because of that. So Nitro, who was brought back from the dead, he's going to have to grab the spike. And with those 20 seconds remaining, make something work of it. Fakes out a plant in and amidst the smoke. There goes the drone. This is information that could have been so helpful. They're still going to wait. Now he's in the midst of the smoke. Getting it down. Will they be able to get it on him at the moment? That's the real question. Sees one, but no. Crash Jesus denies it. That was a make or break. Despite that nice try, Envy are finally starting to rack up some rounds here. Super important, like you said, Parker, make or break. I think they've made it, but they could still break it. Well, certainly the money situation is better for Envy, which is great for them. There's an ulti being trotted out by Sova. Finesse first kill. He takes Asuna out of action. Asuna gone. Ethan now, as well, will join him. Nitro from the back of the site. B, he'll emerge. Shuts down Crashies. As you know, to his left, just in the midst of smoke, there's a gaggle of Envy players. His eyes are towards Market. Astro will go on, possibly drop some stars. Does Nitro have any intel? I'm very curious to know. Looks like the answer is no, as FNS will take him down from behind. Now it's just Steel and Hiko, and they're both on B main lane. It's not a great opportunity to push out from here, as the smokes are disrupting their view. 40 seconds left, so there's plenty of time to work with, but still, I mean, you're dealing with Mummy on the Operator here. By Defender Spawn, he's going to be holding down the cross. You don't have a lot of utility. In fact, you have basically none. Larmbot for Steel, but that's really it. I've got the Phoenix of Victor over on A, just in case B main is not where these remaining members of 100 Thieves want to go. If they decide that they want to try something a little bit different, well, they can go towards A. They're running out of time, though. There's only going to be 10 seconds for them to be able to get the spike down. And here comes the Phoenix of Victor. Shut down. That's going to be a phantom in the hands of Steel. He's just going to look to save, possibly do some damage, as he knows this round is unwinnable at this point. And the clock gets past the point of no return for 100 Thieves, so he will hang that archway, as we talked about before, as you see a hot hand go out, as well as a curveball. Mummy gets shoved off of his spot in tree and continuing forward as 100 Thieves. It puts FNS a little bit farther back. Showstopper from Caboose, and then taking matters into his own hands. It's a gunplay to kill Ethan as well. Asuna, one for 100 Thieves. The spike going down. Doorway closed. Re-entry for Caboose. Denied, and he'll run face first into an ice wall. This is going to be hard for him, but he'll open the pathway for Victor to just march on in. And that's exactly what he'll do. Envy taking back control of this site. Victor now. Going for it. He gets one. That's all of them. Goodness. Loses almost all of his HP. Thank goodness you've got Ethan there to try and get you back to full health. As that operator could have been a very poor investment. Given the fact that Steel was so hurt. Now he's down for the count, by the way. So we're not actually going to get to see the operator in action at all. Now heading up through mid. FNS is there to capitalize. That spike down as well. Asuna and Hiko will need to go retrieve it. In this particular instance, Asuna is the first one there, but he misses his opportunity. He'll go for a pop flash. He's got two bodies from Envy in front of him. He can't do anything to either, so Kiko will need to take matters into his own hands. Now it's going to be, uh, speaking of aggressive, <laughs> aggressive is Killjoy in the main, and also the Hunter Fury from Crashy is trying to dissuade 100 Thieves from going anywhere. <laughs> it's lockdown for lockdown. We're just not ever going to escape them, are we? As Caboose is the only one off oh. of the board, but Victor's going to join him now as 100 Thieves don't want this one to be equal as the second half begins. Asuna healing back as there's an orb in front of him that's going to act as a bit of a line of sight breaker. Won't be able to see too much. Whether he'll fall back or not, that's the real question. Trigger discipline from FNS lasts for about a second before he gives his position away and he can't do anything on it. Mm. Asuna there, he'll grab one. Looking for the next one for FNS, but... He runs it back, and FNS is just better in that regard. Executes that for Don Tootin. Ethan trying to push up, and he's going to fall back. Victor will catch him, though, before he can escape, and the curveball will net two. So it's actually Nitro going down first, then Ethan. Now it's just Steel and Hiko, and they'll have to retake into this four versus two. He'll heal himself back up with the Killjoy by his side. 100 Thieves were successful on those first two pistol rounds back in the first half. Right now, this round seems to be quite firmly in Envy's category, unless something goes horribly awry. Alt Steel and Hiko will retake side by side. They are above on Heaven. Are they aware that there's somebody down below? That's the question. Hiko could possibly turn his back. Nice shot on the mummy. But he gets taken out by Victor, who's got four kills. No ace potential as Steel drops him, but Crashies has his teammates back. And even though they get whittled down and traded off in numbers, the round still goes in favor of Envy's with credits. 
it means that Envy might be digging themselves a bigger and a bigger hole. Now, here's the good news for them. They've taken Nitro out of the equation on the A site, and they have control as well, as Victor looks to try to stop anybody from heading up towards heaven. There's Finesse on flank. Beautiful shot on the steel. Stops with his tracks. Spike, though, has not gone down. Not just yet. Mummy's going to go on. Fashies and FNS very far back. They trade out. 100 Thieves finally find themselves on the board, but they are still in a 2v3. Things could change very quickly. Information in hand for Eco. Two kills for him. Crashies now will need to win it for his team. He sees Ethan jiggle peek around, but this is oh. where things are going to be so tough. He's trapped. He has to dodge it as best as he can. All the while, Ethan is on that spike. His own ult comes out, and they're just going to trade back and forth, trying his best. Line him up. His damage being done in time. Crash, he's detected. He'll have to retake, but Hiko got it. Nice shot for him, but he's not going to be able to get to Hiko in time. Oh. Not one bit. Hiko gets the kill. The players from the site, if he chooses to. Aggressive push there from FNS is met by Nitro. And that's not going to be an easy push into tree. The smoke definitely making that less than ideal. Nitro does die there, but he helped win all those engagements for his team. Crashy's recon bolt destroyed as he tries to enter the A site. And he's got a wall of fire in front of him. The time running out right now on the attackers and running out on Envy's chances on this map. Spike surrendered as well. A nice shot from Mummy, but he'll have to quick peek the Sage just to his left over by the doors. Instead, he's wary of somebody being up towards Ten heaven. Seconds left. He's right, by the way, to look up in that direction. And guess what Mummy's going to do again? He's going to save. Trying to win oh. a round in this economy? <laughs> <laughs> Go back away and save Parker. for a brighter future as Nitro is brought rounds on ascent. Oh no! Caboose! You looked the wrong way! Victor's able to get the refrag, but still, that could have been an easy early it? pick. And Caboose could have still been upright. Yeah, unfortunate there for Envy. And having that gun down is definitely going to hurt. But Asuna, of course, also traded out. So it's something. Plant going down here because of the cosmic divide. This could be good for Envy. They don't have any sound nor intel. Of course, it was a penny-pinching round for Envy. Nitro playing close to that divide. He spots Victor. Victor's a better shot. Eco and Ethan will need to come back to the site. Ethan tries to, gets punished by the operator in the hands of Mummy, and now Hiko may just want to save, but he's not going to be able to do that. Mm. FNS. FNS. It's rattled now. Um, so, as much as 100 Thieves are currently on match point, it's definitely not the end of the world here for Envy. It's very recoverable. That Cosmic Divide worked perfectly for Envy to get the plant down. Just get the amount of control that you need you don't have to worry about pick has been so crucial for these teams and i don't know why they don't clear out mid at oh. all but austin is going to run it back and they bait him out oh, but 100 what? thieves is there and they shut them down one by one by one it's a flawless <laughs> final round to give them the map about heaven you don't have to worry about hell you don't have to worry about pushing out the entirety of the a site because of that divide and it worked out great See, it's a lobster looks exactly like a lobster anyway i didn't i didn't know what you were talking about parker it's a, it's <laughs> I, had a, no, I had no idea what you're wall there i was just backing you up because that's what good partners do thank you very much well, mm. what do we have on the line here the winner of this map goes on the loser goes home and it's going to be a hundred thieves starting things off very oh. early Asana, two kills, steal one of his own crash he's now on the flank can he make some noise for his team no he's dropped they're converting what? on the pistol round to start this off. Caboose gets one, but immediately gets away. Gets away physically, but not in terms of intel. Particular match, stats tend to change when it comes to the actual action. Speaking of, once again, very quick, out the gate here. 100 Thieves will take the advantage, but obviously they're going to when it's a save round for Envy. Nice flank there, but Caboose, the left, last one alive, will be shut down by on the C site. Austin is still there. He takes down Crashies. Both teams at this point have lost one body. Nitro down for Under Thieves. For Envy, it's Crashies. And Envy is going to push back. They're going to continue to walk down Seelong as best as they can. Out comes a flashbang from Sky. Asuna on the run and back. He's in the middle of the site, but he's not able to really do much with it. He sees a single turret. He gets punished for it. Out goes a, uh, out goes a flash from Victor. Doesn't find a target. They're just killing time at this point. Steel is on the spike, but Finesse is better. Two kills from him on to Hiko and Ethan and Caboose. Well, he's on the link. The connector now through this narrow area, we're going to see 100 Thieves decide to take action.
They'll go onto their own drone to try and do some recon work and see where anybody is, if they've been able to flush out the site. They have, in fact, but the spike is going to be in such a way that you'll need some pre-fires from Envy to come in. So far in this retake, though, 100 Thieves wow. really making their presence known here, winning almost every single duel, dry peak or not. One for Caboose to try to give his team some hope. Pico gets the spike halfway before he's finished off by Crash Season. Another start shot out from the Sova. There's a showstopper in hands for Caboose. Does it connect? No, it doesn't. Crash these to you. Oh, wait. Catches Asuna in mid, and now Finesse has control. Nitro drops him, though, and immediately moves towards B. Keep in mind, this is a save round for 100 Thieves, so they'll be able to pick up the weaponry that's being dropped by Envy. That's the Vandal in hand of Nitro. He can do some more damage. Hiko, though, out -dueled. Ethan is in. Only good enough for one, so it's Nitro to try and save the day. He's got a 1v1 lined up as Victor's trying to inflict as much pain as possible. Nitro goes for it anyway, but Victor finds four kills, and Envy takes the round. A partridge and a pear tree. They're all over by A. And they'll immediately trigger the tripwire. Steel is good enough and smart enough to stop them, though, as Caboose makes his presence felt. Steel inside of his own cage, spraying away. No tracers for him, but Victor stops him in his tracks. Nitro from above, off in hand. Nice shot on the F and S. It's Asuna taking some damage as he's now put back, as that was his run it back. Crash, he's down below. Recon bolt destroyed. They'll need to get that spike down at some point. But there's a divide that'll come on in. And with it, the rest of 100 Thieves will get a call oh. to move forward on that. Sprays through oh. the wall. Oh. Asuna big enough for two kills, but Crashies is able to stop him in his tracks. Hiko takes up the mantle, same spot, through the wall, through the door, through the smoke now even. Ethan's there for backup. Recon Dart will spot him, and Hiko will continue onwards. Ethan caught out. He gets spotted and finished off. Hiko now as well as Crashies' presence in this particular round has been monstrous for his team. Just waiting very patiently. I'm getting the plan down. Steel and Nitro will need to retake. Do they have intel? At all, whatsoever. Nitro does. Not the kind of intel you want, though, as he feeds himself to Crashies for his fourth pick. Oh, and they immediately answer back. Crashies plays that one better, comes out on top of it, but Asuna had information to stop him. Now with the run it back, he takes one down. Remember, he can still just be using this for intel, but he's not. Three kills for him before he resets. He managed to see Victor. It looked like he did four for Asuna, and he'll heal himself back up. Curveball in hand, you can hear it. Waiting patiently. Victor, you're up next. Prepared? Ready? Yes, you are. Asuna out -dueled. No ace potential for him, but he'll be hunted down. As Sky's ult goes forwards, Ethan gets intel. Victor healing back up, but he's not getting out of there alive. That was a crucial... Just challenging all the angles as Envy stacks up for this site. Looking at the cam, but Steel's attention is somewhere else. Unfortunately for Victor, it's in his direction. Steel's not going to be able to go on and get the oh, spot here before he kills for him before being punished by Crashies. Doesn't matter, there's a lockdown and Crashies in a tough spot. He's going to need to go for the spike at some point. It's a 1v4. You're die. He gets the spike. ...for our Envy, and I mean, it doesn't end up mattering, but, you know, it does kind of matter in that you're using your utility. Nitro saw one, by the way, but it's the Phoenixes yet again that are in on it. And, well, Victor rushes right in. It's a run it back, and he's going to do just that. Almost along with the rest of his team, who are now trying to put 100 Thieves in a position where, well, they don't end this first half with a lead. Look at that spike down, leaving Ethan alone. 100 Thieves with these six rounds, it looks like that might be good enough. But we see it. Both teams will walk away dead even. <laughs> yes, not get in trouble. Anyway, Steel's gonna get flashed on out as Victor swings through. Both he and FNS were hanging by the doors, waiting to possibly trade out whichever attacker ended up in their purview and in their line of sight. Hiko gets one on his own. Victor is down. As was noted by the analysts, Victor has been so crucial for this team. They're gonna need a deeper roster of talent, though, for the remainder of this round with FNS and Caboose now in a 1v2, make it a 1v1 between Caboose and Birdbang. We'll call it that. Caboose swings out, and he nails the shot. It didn't take too much. Oh, Nitro did not get tagged. Now he does at the last second, and Victor's able to get that one. Oh, you can take a deep breath, and Victor will continue his reign of terror down in sewers. Oh, my goodness. He and Crash, he's side by side, punishing every member of 100 Thieves, and Steel's looking around saying, what just happened? Thieves out of this event. Wow. That is impressive there for Envy. That was a bonus round as well. 
So their economy is flush right now. They're feeling very comfortable and confident. Nasuda gambles on that running back and is good enough when he pivots. Coming out of the ult, and he takes down Victor. Ness is blinded by the paranoia, and now his position given away in the corner. Steel gets his gun out just in time to be able to remove him from the equation. And just like that, 100 Thieves march into the C site. It's theirs to take. Hasana tries with the curveball, but can't connect past anything at all. Caboose oh. now crashes with one steal, trying to make sure that the spike gets planted. It does quite successfully, leaving Mummy in a 1v3. He's got an off. He's got too many targets in front of him. Another execute happens. 400 Thieves. They won their very first round on attack oh. in the previous round. They're looking for two in a row! Goodness gracious! And Caboose blows them sky high! So Hiko now, in a 1v4, everything looked like it was working for 100 Thieves, but you'll need a heroic stand from Hiko. That won't happen in the round going. Firing through the wall and firing through the boxes. Still not able to stop that spike from going down. 100 Thieves have the sight, so a retake from Envy is what's going to be required. Nitro playing, waiting. He won't hear Finesse, but Finesse oh. doesn't hear him either. No. Nitro turns and punishes both players from Envy. Caboose and FNS are a thing of the past. Crashes over by C, though, gets the pick, and then immediately moves himself around. I think he realizes at this point he's not going to be able to do too much, inflicting damage against the economy of 100 Thieves. Playing off of that, no sound cue will let them know that either they miss or there's nobody there. Unfortunately <laughs> for himself, he brings us Asuna down with him, but FNS is good enough for one kill. Caboose, two. So, even with him dying, and they are running out. They are getting precipitously close to this. Steel pushes up onto Victor, catches him at the perfect time. Plant going down. Opportunity for 100 Thieves now as they box out the last members of Envy. But as that spike gets planted, it's a 3v3. Eco makes it a 3v2 with crashies off the board. Steel will have two different agents coming to his left. He misses out on one, but he gets the second, and 100 Thieves takes the... Will the remainder of Envy be able to get in to help? That's the real question. Shot from Caboose will dust Nitro. The Omen will only had a fraction of HP anyway. Shock Dart's going down. FNS in a position to greet them, but he misses his shot, so Ethan takes up even greater space. They've got control of the front of A, and the spike will go down. It's a 3v3. It's anybody's game. Now Steel is dropped with Crash. He's there. Ethan only on 16 HP. He can't heal himself. He's got access to utility. And he's got an ult that he might want to save for the next round. Hiko's going to play by A long, watching towards heaven. But no, there goes the ult from Ethan. This could be the difference between a round where it's match point for Envy or 100 Thieves continuing to move ever closer. The problem is, is right now Envy's being a little bit too reluctant and not taking any fights means that they're not able to do much with the spike. Can they get there in time? They drop the kills. They're on it. Caboose getting the defuse. And the muse. Asuna with a flash looks one way. Can out dual crashes as he's bringing it back and will now have a second opportunity with the run it back ult being finished. He splashed out by the doorway to B, dropped by Victor. Back to a 4v4. This is where things get really interesting. Steel getting healed up by Ethan. There's still a heal in play. Nitro drops one, but Caboose, well, he's playing on the flank. He's the last man standing in a 1v4. 100 Thieves know that this is a pivotal round. There's one for Caboose, two for him. Is there any possible magic in this man's hands? But 100 Thieves are within one of sending this to overtime. Final round of regulation between these two. A look at this, Parker. It's full buys, or not quite actually. Mostly full buys for Envy, but the real kick point. They'll have to corral these remaining defenders directly into their line of sights. Good utility usage and ultimate from Caboose to take out Asuna, and that's the very first kill of this round. It looks like it might be one of the most important ones as well, as this execute continues to let lead towards C, out through Garage. 100 Thieves have good sight control, but they're losing bodies on the entry. They've got to be careful here. Plant will go down. Cypher, though, will use his ult, so Steel gets the information. This will be easy to hold in the post-plant, assuming they can avoid these Killjoy, uh, this Killjoy lockdown. It's now just Nitro. He's going to have to win three fights to keep his team in this. It's not going to be easy. He'll take one and the second. He needs but one more. Lockdown's gone now. So it's just Victor with two curveballs and six HP on Nitro. The peak won't work. Victor takes it. And here is we've got a showstopper, we've got a lockdown, and we've got to run it back for Envy. They are loaded to the brim with their ultis. They're going to be able to use those to great effect to influence the outcome of this round.